Hello, I'm Angelica Zolfrank, chaplain at McLean Hospital. Welcome to Spirit Matters. Have you seen the sign to the entrance of the Belmont campus? If you haven't seen it yet, you have to check it out. I love how media affairs reminds us all of who we are. The sign highlights in a word cloud how patients describe you. Here are some of those words. Protector, superhero, dedicated, kind, lifesaver. This is who you are. You are compassionate. You understand. You value and you advocate for persons in your care every day. This sort of caring, valuing and advocating is called loving your neighbor. In Christian scriptures, the question comes up, who is my neighbor? And the response is a story. A man was robbed, stripped, beaten, and left half dead by the side of a road. Two people walk by, see, and do nothing. A third person walks by, sees the wounded person, and responds with compassion. He stops, cleans him up, and bandages his wounds. He loads the person on his mule, brings him to an inn, and takes care of him. And when he needs to go on his way, he passes on the baton to the innkeeper, and he leaves some money and promises to follow up. You may know the story as the story of the Good Samaritan. It is the go-to story for many people in the helping professions when they are asked to describe why they ended up in their field to begin with. And many of us have heard this invitation and this story which ends, go and do the same. Luckily, helping, caring and advocating is a team sport. It takes a village. We know this because we do it every day. And if I could rename the story, I would change the title from the story of one good Samaritan to the story of Team Samaritan. But we cannot stop here. Let me invite you into another step of this reflection. We've seen too many videos of stories where people were robbed of what is just. We have heard too many stories of people stripped of respect and held half dead by the side of the road. We've taken in the data about people who are unjustly and overproportionately affected by physical ailments and mental health struggles. We have seen too many deaths. Now, for better or for worse, the story of the Good Samaritan does not focus on how the man was robbed, stripped, beaten, and left to die. It focuses entirely on healing. I take from that that you and I here at McLean, whatever our role is as part of the team, we are also called to focus on healing. We are to mobilize our communal strength and resilience to heal and mend this broken world. And fortunately, this kind of healing and mending is a team sport. It takes a village. We have to ask another question though, and maybe this is the most important question. What about the road? What in the world is wrong with the road that it is so easy to rob someone, beat them, and leave them to die? What is wrong with the road? We need to change the roads that people travel on. We need to change the very structures that leave people on the sidelines with no chance to thrive. We need to build new roads of justice new connectors for caring, and new pathways for flourishing. Or in the words of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. On the one hand, he says, we are called to play the Good Samaritan on life's roadside. 
but that will be only the initial act. We must come to see that the whole road must be transformed so that men and women will not be constantly beaten and robbed as they make their journey on life's highway. True compassion is more than flinging a coin to a beggar. It is not just haphazard and superficial. It comes to see that an edifice which produces beggars needs restructuring. restructuring. This is what our team effort needs to focus on, healing and mending a broken world. Spirit matters. Join me next time.